Because you know, family course is only one course to match the global standards. So it is introduced by the doctor Bishwas. So, but not implemented in the Indian healthcare system. So my role is to implement all syllabus to the proper way to the Indian healthcare system, community pharmacies. So we are started to develop our because. Our central government, our health, honorable health minister, Mansuk Mardiyaji, also young and they are, they work aggressively to change the our whole healthcare system because our prime minister vision is there, UN vision is there. We have to match our match our all rules and regulation to the world. So health ministry take follow up to the pharmacy council India every week. What is uh, work is going on? First, they told us to check the syllabus, like using specialization and master in super specialization. So we thought how we implement because secretariat if 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 we are matching the global standard of other country, so we have to give prescription right to the pharmacies. So they are accept our. Uh, this proposal and family student will get the prescription right. <laughs> prescription right to the family student, secondary, secondary healthcare system and tertiary healthcare system. So I think this is a revolutionary step to the pharmacy council India for the development of the family students and also they are introducing the clinical pharmacy course. So there is a two. Revolutionary step already taken by the Pharmacy Council of India after the taking a charge of the president. Another work going by the Pharmacy Council of India is the, to develop the pharmacy profession. How we develop the pharmacy profession? So we already we make a guideline one cadre one nation means many community pharmacies, many state government and different rules regulation, but. We introduce one cadre, one nation, like a junior pharmacist, senior pharmacist, chief pharmacist, and administrator. So this policy we are already working on it, and we will introduce all all over India and uh, gadgeted by the Bharat government of India. So this the pandemic situation, mask, PPE, even many many medicines are also we are exporting to the global area. Then they told us to we have to make a pharmacist of the world. So you focus on the clinical part. Edward drug reaction, antimicrobial reaction, AMR, pharmacovigilance, because other developed countries they are only focusing on that. So we have to focus this particular area. So we uh, uh, our education regulation chairman Dr. Dipendra Singh, we will uh, we all together went and finalize the syllabus. What is the roadmap for the next year we have to implement the, this syllabus. Then first year and second year, I think first year will come to all and syllabus divided in two parts. One industry part, second is a clinical part. Whoever goes to the industry, they only study the industry part. And whoever interested in the clinical practice or community pharmacy, they have to only study the clinical part. Then after March, specialization in masters, you will super specialize in master. Our vision is there first, first year is how to study in your college and second year directly to experiment, practicals or any other instrument training. Many courses are we are introduced. We have to study in the industry. One year industry, one year college, academic. So, then you can directly get a job in the industry because our expectation, industry people expectation is not matching by the our syllabus. So we thought that we will uh, uh, we will uh, 
circulate all the process to the first stakeholder. Please give your suggestion. We will review it and also introduce our, in our syllabus. Second part is accounts because our pharmacy students are not uh, study accounts. So they are only doing a job, not make, not a become an entrepreneur because they have no knowledge of accounting, finance, management, all the things. So we are also introducing new courses in accounts, management, finance, because you know our BPharm graduate level student not know any banking system. Even they are not, they have soft skills. You know India is a different state. Many states different languages are there. In Tamil, Tamil language, Gujarat, Gujarati, Marathi, 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 Punjabi. So many languages are there. So soft skill language also we will introduce. We have to learn German, French, because if we have our pharmacists have to work abroad, then this soft skill knowledge is essential to working abroad. So this change in syllabus because. You know, one IPG question, uh, medical device, already we are uh, cover it in our new syllabus. Because medical device rules come in 2017. Now 2022 is going on. Still we are not studying our student to the medical <coughs> device. And other professionals are taking benefit and also they are become an inspector of the medical device rules. Already sort out of IPG. Food safety officer. Already this point also covered by the PCI. In new syllabus, this point also we have introduced our food safety, food food interaction because food safety rules is different. So in the inspector there is a no provision to introduce a BFAM or MPAM graduate to become an inspector. Third point is UPSC. There is no, no pharmacy syllabus inclusion of the UPSC. So Dr. Atul Asa, IPGA, I think our executive member, Delhi Drug Controller and IPGA President. Already we give the responsibility to the Atul Asa ji, the positive result will come. Second project run by the uh, central government, Hilma India. Already many state pharmacy council known for this Hilma India project because one meeting already we conducted with the all state councils under the another syllabus changing one point is missing in syllabus you have to if you are running a UG diploma and master you have to work you have to MOU with uh, sorry you have to add up 10 villages if one institute working nearby minimum 10 villages we have to add up 10 villages and one student add up minimum 10 house and keeping all medical records because our main motto of pharmacy main role is the advert drug reaction reporting what is the medicine what advert drug reaction what is the antimicrobial resistance what is the side effects and other things so we will intro, uh, we will now now this year we will give you a policy, you have to introduce this system. So, you, you all people calculate how many colleges, 3,500 colleges, 9,000 courses. I think 4 lakh pharmacists are every year passing. So, UG and diploma course, you have to add up minimum 10 villages. One student minimum 10 houses. All record maintain, you have to send to the state government, also to PCI, we will give to the central government. There is a huge, already companies are told, but uh, this year, if any inspector give a fact report or fact document or fact information in the inspector inspection record, we already I circulate the one clear cut guidelines. If you submit a fact report, inspection report, because on this inspection report, that list the inspector, also FIR the inspector, or police complaint to the 
where whatever you residents cancel your registration certificate from the state council, also demand from the faculty water from pharmacy council in India. So this is a step taken. We will take action on the inspector if they submit a fact report. No, never teacher can complain to the management. This is a real situation. If you have a support of chemistry association, hospital association, then you can fight with the management. If you are a chemist shop owner, pharmacist owner, then if you have problem, then academician and other hospital pharmacists and industry pharmacists support against the drug controller and drug department. If you have a hospital pharmacist, if any doctor arrests you, then other pharmacy professionals like academician, teachers, and other chemistry degree association, pharmacists, all that. So I think we have to fight as a pharmacist, as a not an individual pharmacy profession. This is the message of Pharmacy House in India because we have to unite, we have to make our pharmacy profession stronger. In a part, there is a no pharmacy. That's why many medical shop owners have no pharmacist. But nowadays, every year, four lakh pharmacies are passed out and a very good institution like a, you see the Tamil Nadu Chemistry Education Trust. So many associations have their colleges. So their second generation, third generation are already pharmacists. There is no problem to, uh, to find out the pharmacists in India. Many pharmacists are running, uh, already working on the community. So I think we have to change. Otherwise, we we will uh, we will finish because online pharmacy are you know one if they take a one drug license, one pharmacist and run cover all Tamil all Chennai to distribute their medicine by the courier system. No patient comes in. Their doc, head doctor, ghost doctor will call, ghost pharmacist will call. There is a no. Uh, on the prescription, on the medic, uh, on the bills, there is no pharmacy registration number, there is no doctor registration number, only they generate a fair document to give the medicine. So this is a loophole of the e-pharmacy. So we have to work on it legally, technically and very seriously because our drug controllers are supporting e-pharmacy or not, whatever, every state has a different situation. So you have to you have to call the drug controller to stop the e-pharmacy. So you call your state drug controller and give the writing. If you are not a shut down e-pharmacy, then we will strike against your office. <laughs> this is a real situation. If mass students, mass chemist shop, mass academician, mass hospital pharmacies, strike against the drug controller office then they will stop i give the writing i will give you writing they will stop because they all are uh, they are all are person who are involved in this activity so i think uh, as a pharmacy council india president i have not spoke against the, the drug controller but we have to change our india so i have to stop otherwise no other way the pc office if any teachers have a problem, any management have a problem, any student has a problem, they will write to the mail to the PCI and every Wednesday your case will study and if you are genuine then PCI will support you and legally and support you. <laughs> Solution also they have to give. Exit exam, diploma pharmacy. Already we have type a national board of examination who is taking a NEET and G exam of the medical. So this September I think we will take the exit exam for the students who have passed out this year. So I think uh, this is a shocking news for all. So exit exam this year we will conduct in September I think. We are working on fast track. Because, uh, one circle will slow down your speed. 